Mark, thank you. This weekend, The Grove is hosting the Blossom and Thrive Women and Children's Health Expo right here in Johnson City. Noelle Eads is with me today to talk a little bit more about this event. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, first off, what exactly is The Grove and what is the expo that you all are putting on? Yeah, so The Grove is a Women and Children's Health Collective that we started in the Tri-Cities. Um, so I am a women's health physical therapist. I have a private practice in downtown. Um, and basically what we noticed as we have developed our practices there's just a huge need for awareness of women and children's health services in the community there are a lot of small business providers that have these services and just struggle to get their name out there and there's a constant need and a search I feel like in the public for these services and so we organized this health collective essentially as a one-stop shop resource online and so it's a website that has a directory of women and children's health providers in the dry in the tri-cities and so when we say providers it can really be any kind of medical or wellness provider so we have physical therapists on there mental health lactation midwifery doulas and um, we currently are up to about 90 providers in the group, um, which is really exciting. And then on the directory itself, we have about 40 plus listings. I um, mean, it has a map, their location, biographies. Um, in addition to that, we have a nonprofit page on there that has all of the resources specific to women and children in this area um, and then upcoming events. And so to kind of kick off the website and really try to promote it and build it as a resource, we decided to throw this expo downtown. Um, and so it's called the Blossom and Thrive Women and Children's Health Expo. It's September 7th, Saturday from <laughs> 10 to 4. Um, and basically what we wanted to do is have a setup of vendors. So it's a lot of the providers that are in the Grove. Awesome. Um, and they have vendor tents. We actually have 50 people, 50 vendors committed, um, and it's gonna be in Kings Common Park. And then we also have some events lined up throughout the day as well. So we have yoga going on, um, we have a band, and then some outdoor exercise. And then we also have some food trucks and some other kid activities available. So I think it's gonna be really fun. Well, speaking of those vendors, can you give us a couple names of who all is gonna be there? Yeah. Yeah, uh, one of the things we're really excited about in terms of health services is the Ballad Health Mobile Health Unit and Mammogram Units are going to be there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and so if women need mammograms or just like health services, they can make an appointment at those units. Um, so my business and passion pelvic health will be there. Optimal Nurturing and the Nursing Nook are two lactation groups that are very popular in the area. Um, High Country Doulas, we also have I think 12 plus um, nonprofit resource uh, vendors there. So a step ahead, um, Agape, uh, Junior League of Johnson City. There are many more that I can't think of off the top of my head, but yeah, there's gonna be a lot. And so each of the vendor tents, there'll be 10 by 10 tent setups and each vendor is going to have resources, education about their services, but in addition to that, try to have like fun activities, little take homes for the kids and the parents. And then we're also doing giveaways. And so if you visit the tents, there's essentially like a little scavenger hunt map. Fun. And if you mark off um, the tents that you visited, then you get to go and enter for giveaways. And so all the businesses have donated some pretty awesome items for that. So we're excited. Sounds like a great day. Does anybody need to bring anything or be prepared for anything when they come just or to show up? Um, I guess the biggest thing is if you want to participate in any of the group exercise. So with the yoga, you know, bringing your own towel or mat. Um, FIA, uh, Females in Action, is doing the outdoor workout in the afternoon, and they provide a lot of the equipment, but if you do have like an extra yoga mat or something that you want to bring, that might be good. Other than that, we're hoping to just provide everything and just let kids and moms come and have fun. Well, it sounds like a great event coming up this weekend. Thanks so much for joining us. And those details one more time, the Women and Children's Health Expo, that's this Saturday at King Commons Park. There will be food trucks, health units, and other activities. That's happening from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Stick with us because we'll be right back.